nice and tall. And crown of the head lifting towards the ceiling, lengthening up through the spine. Let's begin by rolling those shoulders. So let's go and roll our shoulders back. Good, and roll that forward. And roll that back. And roll that forward. Good. Sit that tall again. Go ahead and drop our chin down towards the chest. And let that head up to center and take our eyes to sky. And drop our chin down to chest. And eyes to sky. And chin to chest and eyes to sky. Good. Bring that head back to neutral. Let's look over to the right. We've got the chin going forward towards that shoulder line. And then look to the left. And then to the right. And to the left. And to the right. And to the left. And bring that back to center. Drop that right ear towards the right shoulder. As you do that, go ahead and release that arm by your side. Oh no. Help to restart. There we go. And then bring that head back to center. Let's drop it over to the other side. So left ear, left shoulder, and release that. And bring that head back to center. Roll the shoulders back. And roll that. Good. Drop that chin back to chest, and let's go ahead and take ear to shoulder, and then chin to chest, and other ear to shoulder. So let's do some neck circles here. So some half neck circles here. Good. Keep the roll back out. And drop that chin down to chest. Good, lift that head up to center. Let's inhale and sweep our arms up. Let's go ahead and bring our hands together and then go ahead and bring our hands to heart, to the center. So I have our hands out in front and we're gonna go ahead and press our palms together, press those fingers together, shoulders down and back and really just press this and let's twist it to the right and then bring this back to center and twist this to the left and back to center. And again, twist to the right, nice little spinal twist and twist to the left. And bring this back to center. Good, release those arms, shake that out. Inhale and sweep our arms up and exhale and press this down. And inhale and sweep it up. And exhale and press it down. And inhale and sweep it up. As we exhale, let's go ahead and either clasp the back of the chair or clasp the hands behind you. So it just depends on how your shoulders are feeling. We're still not super warm yet. So if you wanna hold on to the back of the chair, that works. Or you can even hold on to the side of the chair. Opening this up, go ahead and drop that chin down to chest. Lift that head to center. Look over to the right. And look over to the left. And bring this back to center. Bend your elbows. Take hands over to that waist and squeeze that elbow. Good, 
fingers each side and squeeze that elbow back. And release that shape that out. Good. Let's inhale and squeeze those arms up. And then exhale and press it down. And inhale and sweep this up. Let's clasp our hands at the top and press our palms towards the ceiling and lengthen right here. So lengthening through that torso, sitting that up tall. Inhale deeply here. And exhale, sigh it out. Two more times. Inhale deeply here. And exhale, sigh it out. And one more time. Inhale deeply here. And exhale, sigh it out. Swing those arms out in front and take those palms out. So even though it's hot here, I keep telling myself we want it to be hot because we've been watching videos of the PCT and the JMT, the John Muir Trail. And there's so much snow out there still. <laughs> it's so snowy. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and take our arms out. Take our palms up. Let's make some fists. Roll those knuckles in towards the wrist. And then go ahead and make bicep curls here. And let's go ahead and open this up. A lot of the PC tiers are getting to about Kearsarge Pass. And they're going out. And then they're going up to Shasta. And then in September, they're going to come back. Let's go ahead and round this because there's too much snow in here. And let's go ahead and open this. And go ahead and round this. And then go ahead and open this up. And round. So melt. We won't melt. <laughs> but that means high water. And then go ahead and round this. And open this up. Good. Let's open those arms. Your palms out and press that down. Good, roll those shoulders back and roll that forward. Let's inhale and sweep our arms up. Let's go ahead and drop that right hand down and reach over. Yeah, they were showing graphs and this is, it's unprecedented. It, there's never been this much snow there. And then let's bring this up and then switch sides, reach over. But people are doing it. They look miserable while they're doing it. <laughs> Good, let's see how to sweep this up. And let's go ahead and drop our left hand to our right thigh. Right hand, you can either reach for the back of the chair, the side of the chair, and let's do a little twist here. Oh, so we keep our twist and breathe. And let's bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep this up and take it to the other side. So anything up above 10,000, they were saying, uh, it's staying glacial this year. So it'll stay, it won't melt. It'll stay that way because monsoon stuff will start up again next year. And bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep those arms up. And exhale and press it down. And inhale and sweep this up. And exhale and press this down. Good. Let's go ahead and take our legs over to the right. Sit this up tall. Lengthen up through our arms. And let's go ahead and take our hands. Reach for the back of the chair. Oh, and get that really, really good spinal twist here. So sit it up tall. That spine is nice and long and straight. Tailbone down. Crown of the head lifted. And use the back of the chair. You can use those hands. Use the back of the chair as leverage to get as deep of a twist as you want. Use your breath here. So inhaling it deeply and exhaling it out. And again, inhale deeply. 
and exhale it out. Good. Go ahead and bring this back to center. And let's switch sides. So let's take it over to the left side. Reach our arms up and go ahead and reach for the back of the chair. And twist. Breathing it deeply in this twist. Inhaling and exhaling. Back to center, or reach those arms up, and then let's bring it back to center. And we'll do our seated sun salutations. So, put those blocks where you want them. If you're going to use blocks, you don't have to use blocks. You can always have your hands on your shins or on the floor, or you can use books or pillows. Otherwise, got it right there. Still sitting at the front edge of the mat. Let's go ahead and inhale, or at, at the chair. Let's inhale, sweep those arms up, and exhale, dive it down and over. A nice forward fold. If you need padding between your thighs and your belly or chest, you can feel free to put a blanket or a pillow right here. Especially if you've got back issues or hip issues. Do whatever you need to make this work for you. Use whatever props you would like. Let's go ahead and inhale, lengthen through the spine. So the tailbone is pointed down towards the seat of the chair. Crown of the head is lifting up towards the ceiling. And then release this back into that forward fold. Let's inhale and sweep our arms up nice and big. Push those arms up. And then exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. And exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Let's go ahead and hold this here. You can exhale while we're lengthened. Let's press our right hand either into the block or if you don't have block again, into your shin onto the floor. And let's go ahead and twist open with the left arm. So left arm twist up and open. Oh, good opening for that the side or the shoulder. Breathing this here. And if your arm won't go all the way up, feel free to put it down at your waist at your lowest rib, or if you need to have it resting here. We just want that twisting open of the torso. And then go ahead and release this back down to center. Good, let's inhale, lengthen through the spine, and then exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Let's hold this here. You can exhale while we're lengthened. Let's go ahead and press our left hand into the block, into the floor, into, or into your shin, and let's twist open with the right. And remember, you can have long arm, short arm, no arm, whatever is working for you. And breathe, twisting that torso open. And then go ahead and release that, relax that. Let's inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Let's do this again one more time each side. So twisting each side. So let's lengthen, inhale. Holding this here, you can exhale. Press our left hand down, or right hand down. Open with the left, or open with the left. Breathe. And then release. Good. Let's inhale, lengthen through the spine. And exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. 
Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. We hold this here. You can exhale here. Let's press our left hand with open right. And again, wherever that works for you. And then release that. Good. Let's inhale, lengthen through the spine. And exhale, release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift this up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Sit this up tall. So sitting up tall, lengthen up through your spine. Inhale deeply here. As we exhale, let's hinge forward at the hips and let's go ahead and do a spinal twist here. So trying to take that right tricep or right elbow to that left thigh. Seated spinal twist. You can feel this very deep flow in that flow back. And breathe. Good. Bring us back to center. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring our hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Sit this up nice and tall. Inhale. As we exhale, let's go ahead and hinge this again and take it to the other side. So take our left tricep or left elbow to that right. And spinal twist and bring this back to center. Inhale and sweep our arms up. Exhale, dive it down and over. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale and release. Inhale, sweep our arms up. Bring your hands to prayer. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Go ahead and release that. Shake that out. Actually, let's go ahead and bring our arms back up here. Take our arms out to the front. Let's take our palms facing up and let's go ahead and press through the heel of the hand. Get a good forearm stretch. Right there. Very good. Finger stretch. Switch sides. Forearm stretch. Good. Bring this back to center. Rotate those wrists. Rotate them again. Very nice. Let's go ahead and open this. Still sitting at the center of our chair and still sitting up tall. So we've got no support on our spine. So our core is doing some work here. Let's take our right arm on top of our left and give ourselves a nice big hug. So we'll go into some eagle arms and then later we'll go into eagle legs and then we'll put it all together. So we are hugging ourselves. Let's go ahead and glue our elbows together and we're going to bring those arms up and you can either have the backs of the hands touching, or if you want to wrap, you can wrap this around right here and sitting this up tall. Inhale and then exhale. Two more times. Inhale deep and then exhale. And one more time. Inhale deep and then exhale. Good, go ahead and open this. And let's take left arm on top and reaching our fingers for spine. Glue our elbows together and either back the hands together or you can wrap that. So two, three breaths here, inhale deep and then exhale it out. And again, inhale deep and exhale it out. 
And if your back gets tired here, feel free. You can rest it a little bit, but try and bring that back. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get a little rest in a second. One more breath, inhale deep. And then exhale it out. Good, go ahead and open this up and then release that out. Roll those shoulders back and roll that forward. And here's your back rest if you need it. So if you need to sit back, take a back rest for a second, you can do that. And then go ahead and bring yourself back up, back away from the chair. Let's take our arms up into cactus. So our arms are in this nice cactus and we're gonna squeeze our elbow or our shoulder blades together and kind of lean ourselves back against the back of the chair so that you can get an arch here. So it's like you're laying the cactus down. But if you've got like a heart chair, it might not feel good. But opening this up right here, and then go ahead and bring this up, bring this back up, and then release that down. Roll those shoulders back and roll that. Let's go to the legs. So we're still at the center of our chair. Let's go ahead and lift one leg, lift the other leg, flex through our feet, find our staff pose here. So finding our staff pose, legs are lifted. Inhale deep and exhale it out. And again, inhale deep and exhale it out. And one more time, inhale deep and exhale it out. Good, releasing our arms. Let's go ahead and do a hamstring curl and a leg extension. So keep our feet flexed, super duper flexed, and let's curl it back and extend it forward. We'll do this six times. Bring this back in and extend. There's five. Bring this back in and extend. There's four. Bring this back in and extend. There's three. Back in and extend. There's two. Back in and extend. Nice job. Release that left leg. So scoot yourself back and bring our right leg in. Give that right leg a nice big hug. Hug it, hug it. Let's take our left arm, wrap it around that right leg and twist it to the right. And then twist it towards the inside, so twisting it to the left. and bring this back to center. Let's go ahead and take our right ankle, place it onto our left thigh. Bring this right here. You can sit up against that chair, sit it up nice and tall, and let's begin to hinge this forward. What did I do yesterday that like my hips are so tight? I don't know, but they're really tight. So just working on hinging forward, before you start to round. So once you start to round, bring yourself back to where you weren't rounded. And then let's go ahead and sit up against the back of the chair. So sitting with the up nice and tall, let's inhale deeply here. So we'll add in that breath with the hinging forward to help open that up even more. So let's inhale it here. And exhale, hinge this, keep those shoulders. Inhale, sit it up tall. And exhale, hinge it forward. Inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. And one more time, inhale it up tall. And exhale it, hinge. Good, sit that up tall. Let's go shoelace here. So let's go ahead and take that heel right heel to that left corner of the chair, wrap our left arm around and twist here. Oh, now you can get a good stretch in that glute, hamstring, twisting of the spine. And then twist it towards the inside.
and bring this back to center. And now we're going to go ahead and do uh, eagle legs. So let's go ahead and cross, scoot ourselves forward, and you can keep it crossed like this, or you can try and work on wrapping that foot. So crossing those legs. Now we're going to do our arms again. So let's take our arms out and we're going to go right arm across, or right arm on top. Back, wrapping that. And let's go ahead and find our eagle arms. So again, back to back, or take that right there. And let's do two breaths here in this full eagle. Inhale deeply and exhale it out. And one more time, inhale deeply and exhale it out. Very good. Go ahead and uncross those arms and release that. And we can uncross the legs, scoot ourselves back, and so let's go ahead and uncross all the way. Shake that out. But now you have to scoot yourself back forward to center because we're going to go staff pose again. So not using the back of the chair, having to use our core strength. So up right here. And let's go three breaths. Inhale it deep and exhale it out. And again, inhale it deep and exhale it out. And one more time, inhale it deep and exhale it out. Good, release our arms down and let's go curl it in for six and extend, keep our feet super flexed. Here's five and extend. Here's four and extend. Here's three and extend. Here's two, extend. And last one and extend. Good, go ahead and release that right leg. And let's bring our left leg in and you can sit up against the back of the chair and give that a nice big hug. Let's wrap our right arm around and twist it to the left. I'm going to twist it towards the inside. and bring this back to center. Let's take our left ankle, a foot to that right thigh. Let's sit kind of tall and hinging forward, trying not to round our shoulders, but just finding that spot right before everything starts to round. Good, now let's go ahead and sit this up tall against the back of the chair. Bring that up, let's inhale deeply here. And exhale, hinges forward. And inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge it forward. And inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. And one more time, inhale it up tall. And exhale, hinge. Very nice. Let's go and release that. We'll take the shoelace. Go and take that left heel to the right corner of the chair. Let's wrap that arm around, right arm around, and twist it. That good hip, glute, hamstring stretch. Breathe. And then towards the inside. And then go ahead and bring this back to center. Good. Let's go ahead and cross that. Switch it forward. And you can work on wrapping that around. Let's take our arms out. Trying to get both of our glutes down into that chair. Let's take that left arm on top and reaching fingers for the spine. And let's go ahead and find our eagle arms right here. Eagle legs, eagle arms, two breaths. So let's inhale and exhale it out. 
and begin inhale deep and exhale it out. Good, good. Uncross that, place that down and uncross those legs and shake that out. Very nice. Let's give our right leg the chair and let's take our left leg behind us. So right leg is in front, left leg is in behind. Is behind. So it's a supported, it's like a supported warrior one, except our back heel is lifted. So it's a supported crescent. Got that front leg supported by the chair. Back heel is lifted and lengthening up right here. Let's go ahead and drop our right hand and reach over. Really good for that hip, hip flexor. Yeah. Good, and then go ahead and release that. And now we can give the uh, leg, and bring that up and give it the chair. And let's take that left leg off to the side. We've got that off to the side. Right leg is up. And let's bring this back to center. So reaching up right here. Up through those arms. Let's go ahead and take our right hand down again. So, and this time lengthening. Think about a nice long line from our fingers down to our toes. Let's go ahead and windmill this arm down to the thigh and reach that other arm over, right arm and chin. And then go ahead and release that. Let's get into our pigeon. So let's go ahead and shift our weight forward. Keep that back heel lifted and reaching up. If you want to get a slight back bend here, you can, or it can reach just slightly straight up. And from here, let's go ahead and forward fold. So you're either on your hands, you're on your elbows, or you're all the way forward. Let's bring this back up. Let's reach back up through this. So reaching, reaching. And we're taking this forward. And either on the hands, on the elbows. And then let's go ahead and press ourselves up, ourselves back to the front. Let's take our right leg off to the side and find our supported warrior two legs. So nice support right here. Relax that base, strong legs, strong arms. And let's go ahead and drop that back arm, take our palm up, peaceful warrior. And then from here, let's take this down into side angle pose. Just taking that arm right by the bicep is like right by the side of the head or the ear. And then let's go ahead and bring this back up. Out warrior. Relax that face. Drop that back arm, palm up, peaceful warrior. And let's go side angle one more time. Taking that down and reaching that over. Nice side angle pose. Good, go ahead and bring this up and then let's release that. Very nice. Let's take it to the other side. So let's give our 
left leg, the chair, let's take our right leg back behind us. And we'll find ourselves in our crescent. And lengthen up through this. Good, let's go ahead and take that left hand down and reach over. And then go ahead and release that off. And let's go ahead and flip this leg, the chair. Right leg off to the side. Let's lengthen up through our arms. So reach up through this. Let's go ahead and drop that left hand down again. And a nice long stretch here from fingers to toes. And breathe. Good, and let's windmill this down and reach this. And then release that. Let's go ahead and take it to our pigeon. So back heels lifted, toes pressed into the floor. Let's reach up here. You can lengthen straight up or you can get a slight back bend here. And then take this down. So either on the hands, on the elbows, or all the way And let's go ahead and lift this back up. So reach back up through that. And then forward fold, either on the hands, on the elbows, or all the way. Bring ourselves up, so pick ourselves up, take that left leg off to the side, and find our warrior two legs right here. Find our full warrior two, support the warrior two. Face is relaxed, strong arms, strong legs. Good and breathe. Go and drop that back arm, take our palms up, peace. Good, let's take this to side angle. Taking this down, reaching that arm. I'm going to bring this back up. Proud of you. Relax that face. And drop that back arm, palm up, peaceful warrior. And then side angle pose, take this down, reach that over. Good. And bring this back up and then release. Keep our legs nice and wide. Let's bring ourselves forward. Keep our blocks to the inside, put our hands on blocks, or you can have hands on shins. Let's keep that right hand into that block and let's this open. And as always, you can have that hand low too. Just twisting open, hips open. And then release this, let's switch sides, twisting open. And then release that. Good. Go ahead and bring those legs together. Bring those blocks out in front. We're going to go into a standing forward fold. So let's go ahead and bring our, or, yeah, bring ourselves forward. Take our hands right onto our blocks. 
press our feet into the floor. And let's go ahead and lift our glutes up off of the chair. And we've got a nice standing forward fold here. Let those legs just lengthen. Oh, yeah. And breathe. Good. Hands are on those blocks. Let's go ahead and inhale, lengthen through the spine. So we've got a nice tabletop here. Right there, nice flat back. If you need to bend those knees, if your hamstrings are very tight, feel free to bend those knees. And then release this back into that forward fold. Let's inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale, release that. Very slowly, because our head has been low, let's inhale and sweep our arms up. So take this nice and slow, sweep that up. And then exhale, release our arms to our sides. Good. Let's go ahead and bring this chair off to the side. Let's take our right leg up onto the chair and take that left heel, press that into the floor, and let's go ahead and do a hip flexor stretch here. Try and get that heel, left heel into the floor so that you can get a calf stretch at the same time. So stretching front hip, back calf. And then let's go ahead and switch the weight, shift the weight back and get a hamstring curl or hamstring stretch, hamstring stretch right here. Shift that weight forward, hip flexor stretch. And shift that weight back, hamstring stretch. One more time, shift this forward, hip flexor. And shift that back, hamstring. And then go ahead and bring this up and let's switch sides. So bring our left foot up, keep our right heel pressed into the floor and hinge forward right here. We're getting a calf stretch on the right leg, hip stretch on the left. Let's go ahead and shift that weight back, hamstring. Shift that weight forward, hip Shift that weight back, hamstring. And shift that weight forward, hip. And then go ahead and shift that way back. Good. Let's do a little bit of a modified warrior three, or actually at first a downward, yeah, a little bit of downward facing dog. So we're going to take our hands right onto the seat of our chair, and we're going to walk our feet out a little bit. Hands on the chair so that your back can be kind of flat, pressing our feet into the floor. Head is like between those arms. So this is kind of a modified downward facing dog, getting that shoulder stretch. So let's hold on to that, keep our hands on the chair. Now we can walk our feet closer. Let's press our left foot into the floor and lift our right leg up. And we'll just hold here for a couple of breaths in this, mod, this supporting warrior three. Inhale it here. And then exhale, release that down and relax that here just for a moment. And let's bring ourselves back up, press our right foot into the floor, lift our left leg. Holding here a few breaths. Inhale it here, and then exhale it, and release, good. And just relax that here. Good, 
Very good. And then go ahead and roll this up and roll our shoulders back. We're going to take ourselves down onto our backs. You can grab your um, strap. Have that close. We might be using it. We might not. And then grab a block. We're going to take ourselves down onto our backs. And then grab whatever you need for final relaxation. So if you have an eye pillow, regular pillow, blanket, whatever you need. We're going to take ourselves down. We're going to take our legs up onto the chair. And our back is nice and flat. Let's take, once we've got those legs up on the chair, let's go ahead and take our right ankle, place it onto our left thigh, and go ahead and push that right inner thigh away with that right hand. Inhale it here and exhale it out. And then release that. And you can release that leg, put that leg back onto the chair. Let's do the same thing with the other side. So, left ankle to that right thigh. Go ahead and take that left hand to the left inner thigh and push that away. And inhale it here. And exhale it out. And then release that. Very nice. Give it the legs back up. All right. Go ahead and grab your block or grab your pillows, some uh, stiff pillows if you want to use pillows, because sometimes the edges of the block can be, can feel hard on the back. We're going to take our block or our pillows. And they're going to go right underneath the sacrum. So that's right at the belt. So it's like your low back, upper, um, like, yeah, the upper glutes, low back. And so we've got that supported, our back supported, and we'll go into our supported shoulder stand. So bringing our legs up. And, and And let's go ahead and release one leg and release the other leg and relax it here just for a moment. Or two. Let's do that again. And then let's go ahead and lift one leg. Put the other leg back into that supported shoulder stand. So this nice inversion where the legs are higher than the heart. Really good for circulation. If this is painful or does not work, you can always scoot yourself up against a wall and put your legs up against the wall. And let's go ahead and release one leg, release the other leg. Very good. And then you can go ahead and release that block out from underneath. Good. You can also push that away. And we're going to move into a little final relaxation. So grabbing whatever you need. If you use an eye pillow, if you want the weight of that eye pillow over your eyes, or if you have regular pillow or blanket, and put those where you want them. And we're going to lengthen our legs towards one end of the room 
and reach our fingers towards the other end of the room. Adding two inches to your height here. So really, really reach that. Maybe that low back can be lifted up off the floor. Imagine somebody is pulling at your wrists and somebody else is pulling at your ankles. Long body here. Let's inhale it deeply. And with an exhale, begin to sink, begin to settle, begin to relax. So relaxing those feet, letting them fall open, relaxing those arms. Relax and release that jaw, that face, eyes. The eyes fall back to the back of your skull. Relax the chest, the arms, the belly, the pelvis, the quads, quadriceps, front legs. Relax the glutes, the hamstrings, back of the legs. Relax the knees, the calves, the shins, the ankles, the feet. And just allow yourself a few moments of quiet. Relaxing and begin to bend the knees and tuck that tailbone under, maybe flattening that back against the floor. Pop one of your knees over to your most comfortable side, taking yourself onto your side into fetal position. Just a few breaths here. And slowly, let's begin to press ourselves up and bring ourselves up, space between toes, and sitting up at tall, lengthening up through the spine, and let's go ahead and inhale and sweep our arms up. Bring our palms together and drop our hands down. Heart to chin to chest. With the head center, take fingers to forehead. As we read today, let us think thoughts of truth. Taking our fingers to our lips. 
As we leave today to speak with others, let us speak words of love. Take our hands to our hearts. As we leave today, let our lives be a light of truth and a light of love, having hearts of compassion and mercy, knowing that we have not been given a spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, a sound and peaceful mind. And hand in it deeply. And exhale. And one more nice big cleansing inhale. And big cleansing exhale. And have a blessed Tuesday, rest of your Tuesday. Have a good Wednesday, and we'll see you 